very important factor in our practice of asthma management is doctor patient communication because if you are able to have a confidence or able to create a confidence in patient's mind patient will be happy patient will be comfortable with your treatment and you will be able to deliver better treatment now uh, first point is the listening uh, to the patients uh, when patient is a child uh, listen to the mother or a father listen to child's chest problem possibly uh, what happens after exercise now when patient is a adult uh, listen to the patient properly because 80% of the diagnosis depends on patient's history history is very very important to understand the disease properly and rightly communicating the disease as we have seen uh, one has to explain asthma to the patient in a proper and easy language you can use the slides you can use the models you can show what is the normal airway and what is asthmatic airway what happens in the airways what changes occur in the airways because of asthma you should be able to explain what is bronchitis what is uh, airway hypersensitivity and uh, what happens in inflammation like bronchitis is the narrowing of the airways and uh, recurrence occurs because of the genetic or environmental factors and inflammation uh, causes swelling mucus short tempered airway and uh, explain the things with the uh, use of models we explain the role of control medication as we have discussed uh, explain them that healthy airway is possible with use of control medications and tell them that bronchodilators will lead to recurrence so use of only relievers is not ideal one has to use the relievers as well as control medications how to tackle the mental blocks that is very very important factor ask the patient before he leaves or she leaves whether you are going to take these medications whether you are going to follow the instructions given did i leave you confused or unclear so ask the patient whether you are clear whether the idea about asthma is clear whether the idea of treatment is clear now did i leave you you with any words you did not understand so ask every patient did you get everything or are there any queries now how do you feel when i write asthma medications for you so now what is your idea how do you feel ask the patient the feeling when you came in my clinic and now what you feel while you are leaving my clinic are you satisfied do you know how your asthma or breathing problems become worse ask the person or a patient whether they got idea about pathophysiology and uh, how the uh, asthma can become worse did you stop taking your medications when and why you know, ask every patient whether they are honest with their medications if they are not ask what are the causes and try to relieve the causes do steroid inhaler therapy is best for asthma now what has to explain inhaled corticosteroids are the control medications they are the best medication for the proper and long term asthma relief what are the side effects of inhaled steroids if used for many years no one should have an idea uh, especially in a growing children uh, one should uh, be aware of the doses of the uh, ics otherwise for uh, long term ics there is no any problem in using them in a proper doses